disgusting. Somebody have a, have somebody do something like that, you know. A Greenville beekeeper is devastated after finding thousands of his bees dead. You may remember Dale Luttrell. He is the beekeeper who rescued a swarm of honeybees in downtown Greenville back in March. He took them home to his hives. Well, now many of those bees are dead. As WBIR 10 News reporter Jenna Rose shows us, he thinks someone may have poisoned his hives. Each morning, like clockwork, Dale Luttrell goes to check on his bees. After eight years of beekeeping, it's become more than just a hobby. I think it was part of the family. To me, if you get to fooling with them and working with them, and it takes your mind off of everything else. That's why he was devastated to find his bees dying off. There's a dead bee. It all started when he noticed the grass in front of his hives starting to die. I didn't really pay no mind to it till uh, I got to notice my bees getting fewer and fewer all the time. Now, each time he checks on the hives, he finds more and more bees dead. It killed all the old bees off, and these younger bees are hatching out, and it's killing them, you see. Dale called a bee colony inspector with the state of Tennessee. And he came up here and, and looked at them, and, and he said that somebody had sprayed some chemicals on them. Dale lost 11 of his 21 hives. He estimates about 300,000 bees total. It's disgusting. Somebody have a... Help somebody do something like that. He's had to burn some hives to make sure whatever chemicals are killing the bees don't spread. This has got a lot of bees in it. I, I think it's going to be all right. But for now, he's just hoping some pull through so he can keep his hobby alive. Now, Dale's just waiting to hear back from the inspector to see what exactly happened to his bees and what he should do next. In Greenville, Gennaro, WBIR 10 News. The state inspector says there is evidence that someone sprayed something on Latrell's property, but it's not clear what that chemical is or who did it. Officials charge, if officials charge a suspect, they would face property damage charges.